What's up, Lunatic Fringe? Um, there's a lot of information about Luna Classic that's happening right now as we speak. So I'm going to break this down as quickly as I possibly can. I don't want to take up much of your time. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And let's see how this all plays out. Now, there's a lot at work here that we're going to unpack. And some of it has to do with Luna. Some of it has to do with Luna Classic. There are pieces that are finally coming into place for people like you who maybe are a DGen player. Maybe you got in and maybe you did like me and you wormholed it. And I used the wormhole to get my stuff onto the Terra Luna uh, bridge a long time ago. There's been no bridge for it, but we're going to talk about that. Make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell to be notified of future content. Uh, and leave a comment down below letting me know. Were you part of Luna Classic originally uh, when it was Luna? Uh, are you? Did you buy it on uh, spot at a centralized exchange, or did you go through the BSC wormhole? That's going to be the question to ask because there was a lot that were bought on that BSC bridge and even the Ethereum bridge at one point. But let's check this out. First of all, Duquan likely won't be extradited before the end of March. So he's going to be – this is why he's going to be delayed with – um, the 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 hearing with the SEC. So another ruling was given saying that uh, he was going to be extradited to the United States, but they said it's based on erroneous information. Uh, in February 26, filing in the U.S. District Court of Southern District, uh, it says that he will likely not be extradited before the end of March. He will not present or be able to attend at least the start of the trial uh, at March 25. We provide this information purely as a status update for the court, uh, and it shows that we've appealed the high court's February 21 decision in light of the illegality of the high court's decision ordering his extradition to the United States, where he is not a citizen, I might add, uh, and where no crime has been committed, I might add. Uh, the summary process has taken far longer than we anticipated at the outset because of the numerous unanticipated mistakes made by the lower court. At this point, I do not expect Mr. Kwan will be extradited to either South Korea or the United States before the end of March. The lawyer filing suggests that the United States would likely win the extradition battle with South Korea. Uh, Kwan was arrested in Montenegro uh, for using falsified travel documents. And you know, basically what they're saying is, uh, or, or um, you know, the, the argument here is, why is he not going to South Korea where he should be tried in his home country where everything happened? The United States is using its power over Montenegro uh, to facilitate this move right here. And it's a move, by the way, that surprisingly will I, I think it's very weird i think that this is baked in i think there's a uh, i'm not a conspiracy guy but there's a conspiracy going on right here and uh as we watch this play out uh remember this is judge jed rakoff if you don't know who judge jed rakoff is he is a an 82 year old octogenarian that is ignoring judge annalisa torres rulings regarding xrp on what constitutes a security and what constitutes a commodity so a lot going on to unpack as we get into this information over the next little while also the sec uh has challenged terraform labs suspicious 166 million dollar payment to lawyer in a court filing they claim that terraform labs paid a suspicious amount to its lawyers to avoid paying potential judgment as a result of the enforcement action. It stated that the filing that they were transferred a staggering $166 million to the Dentos Advancement Payment Retainer, with $122 million of that money being transferred within 90 days before the bankruptcy filing. The SEC argued that the move seemed to be aimed at removing assets from the company that could be used to pay any judgments resulting from the agency's enforcement action. So we'll see what happens with that right there. Uh, also, this is the big news right here. If you haven't already, uh, then you can now go to the Tritium Bridge or Tritium Bridge. I'm not really sure exactly how we're going to pronounce this uh, according to how it's spelled, probably Tritium, but uh, you'll be able to transfer now your Terra Classic to the BSC chain and you can reverse it and reverse wormhole uh, your way back over and you can do it to Polygon as well. Uh, you have to connect your MetaMask uh, to do this, but uh, between BSC and Polygon, you're now able to transfer uh, between Terra Classic. So uh, this gives you a lot more options if you've bought on uh, spot in any one of these uh, decentralized exchanges um, like, uh, um, uh, like was it SushiSwap or PancakeSwap? Sorry, <laughs> either one of them. Uh, you'll be able to do the transfer. Now, uh, still the same information that we had before, uh, same discussions being had as before. Price action still looking very bullish. We had this, this massive sell-off yesterday when Coinbase went down 
but that was just an indicator that there was a, a problem with whatever uh and, and it didn't really affect luna classic i think it was starting to pump at that point but uh then we had this big move and of course we got rejected right where i told you we were going to get rejected uh at uh at the 618 uh, which is where we're sitting right now, uh, basically consolidating in that range. And you want to know what it looks like? It looks like this. Now, this is probably not a great uh, area for it, but you can see right here, it's at the two point three at the point two three six line. We haven't really come down. So I would expect to see uh, a move maybe down into this 13 range. Now, if you just take for granted here that maybe that's not the parabolic move, that was just a good buyback off of it. And we really consider that the rip was this right here. Well, then it looks a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit more enticing because that gives us a, a bounce off of the five. Uh, so, uh, and and we're back at the point three eight two, which would tend to me to believe that if this is right, then we're probably looking at this kind of move right here, and then this kind of move up into this range right here at fifteen six <clears throat> as a new extension and a new move to the positive. That's what it looks like on the chart, anyway. Guys, right now, this moment, this is the time to increase your crypto portfolio you're probably not going to want to cash out for at least another year. You're probably not going to want to cash out at least for nine months. The top of this market is not coming for another year and a half, 18 months, maybe even two years. In that period of time, what you want to do is have as much of your crypto as you possibly can. And that's where cryptonomy.finance comes in. That's where you stake in order to earn more yield. Take these fixed rates over here, grab your favorite crypto, and go in on a little bit of shit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to convert this over to Bitcoin. I'm going to use 0.2 Bitcoin. And I'm going to do this for 12 months. I'm going to earn 100% more SHIB than I currently have. That's all it took for me to make this happen. Now, the big money, the big money is not from the fixed. The way that you get more is right here. It's all of these launches. This launch pool right here, this is the place to make a lot of money money. So go check out cryptonomy.finance today. Tell them Bleeze sent you. Uh, USDC, same well, thing. We're really, it's, it's again, it's, it's about where that really, the parabolic move happened. And it seems to be moving in unison right now. You can see both of them are up about 5% on the day. So I would think that we're going to continue seeing uh, upside movement. The market, the market is still just absolutely ripping. Okay. Uh, Bitcoin, Probably going to be testing another all-time high very, very soon. I mean, if you go down the list, uh, we, we're, we're basically in altcoin season. I mean, it, it, it is altcoin season, but it's the early part. Like, we're going to have, uh, I don't know if this is a sustained altcoin season, but, I mean, you're looking at real pumps on a lot of different tokens. So, uh, it should be safe to say that we're in there. Now, Genuine Lab still has this one sitting out there. Uh, ends on 3.3, which is in about four days. This is about upgrades. Uh, this gives you the breakdown of it. Go read it for yourself. Decide for yourself if this is something that you want. Uh, trade volume up 266 million, 835 million market cap. This guy, Guys, this could 10x at any point to an $8 billion market cap. Don't fade uh, right now. This is not the time. Uh, 329 million market cap on USTC and of course, 91 million in volume. Uh, now it's going to have to be reported after this burn is done, that the burn is done to get this back down, which will cause a little spike in the price, a little excitement. And it's going to happen at the same time that Binance does its burn. Uh, and then finally, um, uh, I went going through Twitter. There's not really anything to report here other than people just saying, Hey, it's going to take off. It's going to go crazy. Uh, also, uh, if you didn't, uh, <laughs> if you didn't look at it and this is Terra army, you know, this, th these are people who have been in this for a long period of time. Uh, this is Lenny. Uh, remember I, I, I sent you a video about this yesterday. I did a video, uh, for the team. Uh, Lenny is uh, the only meme coin in Luna Classic. So you might want to check that out because the worst thing that you could do is not support your ecosystem. If you're supporting this ecosystem, then guess what? There's trade volume on it. There's people doing stuff on it. Uh, it's, it's opportunities to create incentives for burns. It's, it's, it's showing people the life, uh, the lifeline is not negative. So do something with it and we'll be in good shape. So uh, go trade that Lenny. Uh, you don't have to make a profit. You just have to trade it. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you should make a profit, of course. But uh, the whole idea here is if you do uh, engage with this ecosystem, then good things happen. Stop financial advice. My name is Blaze. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Make sure you leave a comment.